So in this reading from the prophet Isaiah, we have the word of the Lord who promises the, uh, that there would be a root of Jesse that would be a signal to the peoples and the nations shall inquire of him and his dwelling would be glorious. So here we have, uh, you know, articulated through the prophet Isaiah, really the essence of Israel's hope. And it is a hope for the gathering of God's people back into Jerusalem, in the sense back into Judah, back into Israel, that God's people would be a family again. And that's what's at essence when he says that the jealousy of Ephraim shall depart, the hostility of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah, and Judah shall not be hostile towards Ephraim. And so is this vision that, you know, we won't be, uh, you know, all our old feuds and conflicts and our grudges and jealousies, all of that will be put away when we come into the Lord's presence and are reunited again, that it will all be joy. And in many ways, as we as followers of Jesus, we take this as a vision and a promise for Christian unity for which we long for that, you know, in so many ways, the various tribes of Jesus's followers are in jealousy and hostility with each other. And we look forward to that day when we will be one in Jesus. And when we simply will recognize in each other, uh, a fellow brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, members of the same family and that we will be gathered together from all our various, you know, the places that, you know, in which we kind of get segmented off, all our various silos. In some ways, you know, it says here about, you know, that they'll be gathered from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Ethiopia, from Elam, from Shinar, from Ha, basically all these points of the compass, a big circle around uh, Jerusalem and Israel, that from all these places, everybody will come together again. And it strikes me that we, as followers of Jesus, we allow ourselves to be uh, in exile, exile in our uh, ethnic identities, exiled into our economic interests, exiled into our political tribalism, exiled into our nationalisms, and that in our exiled into our dogmatisms that all these ways in which we are kind of exiled within uh, the powers of this world, that God by his Holy Spirit will call us together again to be one people in him. And not just those who follow Jesus currently, that we as followers of Jesus, we, uh, we appropriate this, this word of the Lord through Isaiah and expand its vision that the nations themselves will come. It says they shall inquire of him, that they will come to Jesus, that the peoples of this earth will come to Jesus and inquire, that they will um, seek wisdom. And so in inquiry is more than just like, you know, uh, which, way is, which way is it to Jerusalem? To inquire is in the Old Testament, this usage is to seek wisdom, to seek the meaning of life. Has the Queen of Sheba inquired of Solomon and his wisdom and so that the nations will come and will inquire of Jesus so that the whole human family will be brought together free of conflict, free of hostility, of jealousy, and that we will be brought together and delivered from all our exiles has finally, has decisively, um, and has gloriously, as Israel was once delivered from Egypt through the Red Sea, and has gloriously, as Jesus himself was delivered from the power of death, which holds all of us in our exiles. And Jesus has come to bring us home into the presence of God and to be a part of his family once again. And that is the glorious hope which we announce at Christmas tide. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him and his dwelling shall be glorious. On that day, the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time to recover the remnant that is left of the, his people from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Ethiopia, from Elam, from Shinar, 
from Hamath and from the coastlands of the sea. He will raise a signal for the nations and will assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim shall depart and the hostility of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah and Judah shall not be hostile towards Ephraim, but they shall swoop down on the backs of the Philistines in the west. Together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall put forth their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites shall obey them. And the Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt, and will wave his hand over the river with his scorching wind. And it will split into seven channels, and make a way to cross on foot. So there shall be a highway from Assyria for the remnant that is left of his people, as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.